Hey Salivas, this is Super Zomaga Barbecue and today we are going to answer one of the biggest questions of WWE Supercard Season 3. Something I am asked on a regular basis on Twitter, Instagram, in my comment section, literally in streams everywhere. Where is PCC? Now the answer actually came from a video that another content creator did around about the time that WWE Supercar Season 3 was officially unveiled. And we're going to talk about that very, very, very soon, but the answer might just blow your minds a little bit. But we'll get on to that in a second. I first of all want to get the King of the Ring Awards, you can see down the bottom, done. And I was in the King of the Ring with a couple of people. I'm not really going to talk about it too much because I want to get into this really awesome subject that talks about the fact that PCC may and probably is still alive, but we just haven't seen it yet. So, and in fairness, it actually confirmed the suspicion of mine, as I mentioned in the previous video. I've got an ultimate and an elite card we're going to get right now. Let's see what we get. Let's just shout out the guys here in this King of the Ring as well. So, D, D, L, E, 1, D, L, E, 1. Port Gaster Ace as well, beat him in the semis, and Granger as well. All these people were actually, apart from N Hotness, I actually think N Hotness was a hit human as well. All these guys are humans, that's my first all human uh, brackets. So, uh, yeah, GG to all of them, and I hope DLE got a decent pro, maybe got themselves a pro Alexa Bliss. Hey, maybe they did, maybe they didn't. If you can let me know, DLE, if you know who I am or whatever, you watch these videos, let me know in the comment section what you got. But we're going to claim the reward right now. Ultimate. Elite card. Please be saying good. Ultimate card is going to be... Bray Wyatt. Yay. Yeah, you know, she might be a pro, you know. An elite card is gold dust. <laughs> yeah, that was so worth it. That was so worth it. But let's, uh, let's lock that card in. Let's lock that bad boy in. Uh, potentially the future WWE champion. Right there, Bray Wyatt. And we'll just train away gold dust, so it's okay. Now, before we get into the main part of the video, remember to hit a like on this video. If you can hit that as hard as freaking possible, AA spear, jump off the hot top rope, onto the like button. You know what? Let's go for a frog splash off the top rope, onto the like button. Thank you very much, and enjoy. Okay, so, you guys are probably wondering what the hell I'm talking about by answering the question, where is PCC? Well, actually... I'd be answering a question that uh, was actually already answered by an image and a video that was released when Season 3 was first released. Now, a lot of you may or may not know that when Goldberg's uh, first event card was announced, the event card was going to come out almost immediately after Season 3 was launched, and there was even some images revealing the card and showing the card off from uh, the playtesting session that me, uh, Luge, Tony Pizza Guy, Toby Emu, Tom Kushney, Biggie Dude, uh, Nadas Fan, and a couple of other people went to, if I missed anyone out, I apologize, um, and when we were at Cat Daddy Studios. Uh, what I didn't realize is that something else got revealed as well. But what if I told you that that limited edition Undertaker that I said the other day I had a feeling that that wasn't supposed to be a limited edition card and actually at the last minute was drafted in for something. I might possibly be right with that and I've got proof for you as well and this proof potentially proves that maybe the event or the limited edition card of The Undertaker was actually supposed to be a PCC car. I had my doubts when I first looked at the image and I saw that there was the fire and the lava and just thought this looks very similar to the Season 2 PCC cards. doesn't look entirely similar, but it, you know, it looked similar enough to kind of represent those cards. Now, there's been a lot of rumors going around recently and even I made a video, literally, the last one I made saying, rip PCC and the fact that PCC was basically over. And now my next question is yeah but is it and that brings me to exhibit a exhibit a actually comes from luge mania or luge ps3 whatever you guys know her as and she recorded some gameplay footage for w supercard season 3 from the event in seattle which i'm going to show you guys on screen now but the original credits go to luge for this ranked mode footage which shows very clearly a John Cena card that has the words on it, P 
PCC. So we have it confirmed that the limited edition Undertaker either was a PCC card and proves my theory right that the card was supposed to be a PCC with Mankind but was cancelled at the last minute or it proves that PCC is still alive or alternatively it proves that PCC was going to be an event in WWE Supercard at one point. I just couldn't see a reason why WWE Supercard would make an image just purely for the event when it looked like it was meant for something else. And it goes and it's proven that that was originally designed to be a PCC card. And that John Cena card, that John Cena image, I'm going to be honest with you, obviously is, is one from season one, season two. Um, so it's not something that's new. That this card potentially answers everyone's question of where's PCC. Well, actually, PCC is in any limited edition Undertaker. And maybe the plan was never to release a PCC card in Ultimate Tier. So maybe they've got a brand new design for a new tier, for example. Maybe we will see the card, the limited edition card, pop up in a PCC at some point as the PCC card. But it's definitely worth mentioning that this card was not originally intended to be a limited edition card. It was actually intended to be a PCC card. Maybe not this Undertaker, but I would throw money at the fact, and I said this in a previous video, that Taker and Mankind were supposed to be in the same event. It's just too much of a coincidence for them to have a... Oh, wow, Tyler Breeze off the board. Thank you very much. Um, it's too much of an, a coincidence for Undertaker and Mankind to be events or to be cards available on the same week at the same time when they had one of the greatest feuds and matches of pretty much all time so to have that happen and for mankind to be an event card etc and then take it just to show up out of nowhere immediately just raised my suspicions and believe it or not i didn't search up for this by going to luge's videos i genuinely just typed in twitter wwe supercard pcc went to the images and then this image popped up of someone comparing the goldberg card and the john cena card together and looking at both of them uh, when season three got released but i want you guys to tell me what you think in the comment section below because this is pretty big news and maybe it shows that wwe supercard is going to get pcc back into the game at some point um, but maybe it won't happen straight away all it shows for definite is that this card was not originally intended to be a limited edition card it was intended to be a pcc card and maybe this reveals that at some point wwe supercard will re-release the event because in one corner you've got supercard saying they've taken the event away to spice it up to put it back into season three and you got in another corner the feedback team as you can see here saying that PCC is not coming back and was actually left out of the game. Now that may still be true and maybe the abandoned image they were using are now going to be turning into limited edition cards from now on. But I, I can't see them keeping PCC out of the games for long because I can't see WA Supercard constantly running from RD to RTG, RD to RTG for the remainder of Season 3. It, there's going to have to be at some point some change to the event's schedule which will mean that something else comes in. I mean, I'll give you an example. NHL Supercard have just had a new event similar to Money in the Bank, which is called Rain the Rink. That's just come in. I would not be surprised if you saw either a brand new game mode, alternatively PCC brought back in, and maybe that was our first indication that it's coming back, but maybe not until the next tier is released, for example. But there is a possibility, as I mentioned earlier on, this could be the hint that there was supposed to be a PCC along with an update of some kind which was supposed to come out around about the Royal Rumble weekend which may have been between Undertaker and Mick Foley stroke Mankind but eventually had to be cancelled and I wouldn't be surprised if that was because of the reason I said beforehand because of WWE Champions and just other things were going on at the time so they released the limited edition event instead to delay any new updates they had Again, I'm purely speculating about that kind of stuff. Um, and before you ask, yes, I am way behind in Road to Glory this week. I've got, I've come down with some kind of virus, and that stopped me from streaming as well because I'm just constantly tired. But uh, this 
is very, very revealing. In fact, that's the John Cena image itself. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. And also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Maybe this is the biggest hint so far that PCC is coming back. And maybe, maybe there's a glimmer of hope for those who do want PCC back. That something is going to happen very soon. But in the meantime, remember to go into the description below and check out Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and lastly, newly, Facebook, using the links in the description below. And that'll be it from me. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thoughts in the comment section, and I'll see you soon. And one last thing for you all, and that is to... Salif!